So I want to go over the tracks of a striped skunk here. And what I'm showing you here is the left hind foot. So how do you know it's the left hind? Well, the claws are short, very close to the toe marks here, as compared to the claw marks on the front foot, which are really far from the toes and long. So it's also a little bit more square and boxy looking with the toes uh, close together because they don't splay. The inner toe here is further back in the track than toe five is. So you have, you have five toes, but they don't splay because they're partially fused. Toe one is set further back in the track. All of them have claws. So that's your left hind of the striped skunk. This one is your left front. Now also look at the inner toe and its position in the track. So it's further back in the track than is toe five. So all the toes are in an arc with long claws ahead of those, those toes. Sometimes you'll see more of a pad back here and sometimes not. It just depends on the substrate and whether the skunk um, set that part of its foot down. They don't always do it on either the front or the hind. So you can't predict whether you're gonna see that. Now up here is a track excuse me, where you can see it. So this is again a left front track and right here you can see the indication of the rest of the pad. It's not great, it's just more of a scoop in the sand there. Doesn't show it super good, but there is more pad back here that they can show in their tracks. So this is a really clear track and you can see toe one here with its claw which is slightly shorter than the claws on two through five here. Toe two, three, four, and five. Toe one is further backwards in the track than is toe five right here. So that's toe one, that's the inner toe. That makes this the left front track of a striped skunk. Here's a right front track of a, of a spotted skunk. Again, look at the position of toe number one and how far back it is in the track and that it has a shorter claw than the other toes. Um, the other toes have very long claws. This one's maybe two-thirds to a half as long as the claws on the other toes. Toe five is there and toe one is here, so five and one. Uh, toe one is further backward in the track. And again, those toes are not splayed. They're grouped together because they are partially fused, so you don't usually see t uh, the toes on the striped skunk splaying out like you do on other animals' tracks. So here's a hind track, and you can see the extra pad right back here, which sometimes shows up in the track. You can tell it's a hind because of those shorter claws, or excuse me, shorter, uh, yeah, shorter claws. Toe number one is right there, and it is further back in the track than the other toes. That's a left hind. So here we have a right hind and a left front next to each other. The skunk is heading downhill, down slope towards the river. Right there are mink tracks because we're, tr we're crossing that other, the mink trail. And then we proceed with more skunk tracks. So here's another hind track, a left hind. Here's another one, here's a right hind. You can actually see the, the pads on the back of this one right there. And the same with this one, it has the little indication of those pads. Um, if we go back to the front track, you can also see an indication right here that there are extra pads behind this main metacarpal pad. There's the carpal pad back there. So those are the uh, striped skunk tracks, and I hope you've enjoyed learning about them and how to tell the left from the right and the front from the hind on those guys. And hope you find some nice skunk tracks on your own adventures. Out, uh, out tracking.